What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I figured I'd make Linux users a little happier, those who are new to Linux, to show them how to make a USB uh, GPT. So in other words, Gilded Partition, I believe it's called. It allows you to have to use the newest features of your motherboard and the newest features of your hard drive. So if you have a really big hard drive, you're going to need this. And we're gonna be using two today, two little devices. One is called Rufus and the other one is called Ventroy. Currently I have a Ventroy drive here. I'm gonna to need to drag all of my US, all of my ISOs off the drive before we do anything. And as you can see, it's not gonna take any time at all because I have a stupidly fast drive. Yeah, it's always fun. So I need to wait for this to finish, but before we do, we need to download these. So hit the download button. And if you're on Windows, hit the Windows. If you're on Linux, hit the Linux. This is the one we're gonna do first. Not actually, this is the one we're gonna do first. This is Rufus. So you're gonna to wanna to download the newest release, which is, uh, is it is this one new or is this one new? They're both the same. This is portable, this is not portable. This is for x86 ARM, this is beta. So yeah. Then you're gonna open it up and it's gonna pop up on my other monitor temporarily. There it is. As you can see, there's my Ventroy drive. We've just copied over all the ISOs. We need to select a drive, okay? So I just copied all of my stuff here. We're gonna go with GNOME and Nobora. You wanna change this to GPT, all right? So in other words, non-CSM. And you wanna to wanna to hit start and write in DDU, DD image mode, DD image mode. So this will be UEFI only, okay? And this is important because, well, if you want to boot UEFI, if you want your Windows in UEFI, you'll do the same thing. You'll select the Windows ISO, you'll choose GPT, and you'll just hit flash. All right, so that's done. The next thing we're going to do is tackle Venroy. Now, it's right here when you unzip the installer. This is for Windows. And you're going to want to click this one. And it's going to pop up on my other screen. And as you can see, right now it says XFAT MBR. You're going to want to go to options, change the partitions, turn that off, change the partition style to GPT. All right. And then you're going to want to hit install. Once it's done installing, I will disable that soundtrack. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Once it's done installing, you're going to have a secondary drive pop up which is on my left hand side, as you can see, it's called Ventroy G. And this is where you just take all your ISOs like this, drag and drop. Now, depending on the speed of your USB, this will take a while. If not, it's gonna be pretty much instant. I don't have this plugged into a full uh, USB 2.0, USB 3.2 Gen 2 USB port at the moment. Um, I forgot to do that when I plugged it back into my PC, but it's still hella fast. Like this is just beyond any normal USB you'll find. It can actually do up to one gig uh, read and writes, which is nice. So now I can go and I can delete all this, and free up some space because I have them all on that drive. And what do you do from here? Well, you just boot it and you select which ISO you want to boot from and that's it. This way you don't have to disable CSM in your BIOS. You can just go into the boot menu, select the USB drive, and it will automatically be UEFI. So when you go install, you're gonna be using UEFI, and that's what matters. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. They're really easy to use, so you should really have no problems, and I'll see you guys next time.